Hey guys, I'm really excited for today's video because it's a little bit of an impromptu video. So my friend Jean sent me a whole bunch of makeup. Jean and I always like to clutter stuff and send it to each other. We also will make orders together so we can get free shipping and then whoever places the order will just send the other person their stuff and we don't mind waiting for it. Like. I will hold and hold and hold on to stuff I'm going to send my friends until the box is ginormous and then it's too much and then I stuff the box and send it anyway. So I'm super excited for this video. I am going to be unboxing this huge, like this is the big size Ulta box full of makeup that my friend Jean sent me and I remember some of the stuff that she's sending me but not everything. This has been over several months. We've been sending each other pictures of like, do you want this? Do you want this? So because I'm not going to remember everything that she said she was going to send me, I wanted to do an unboxing with you guys and hopefully I won't just say I'm so excited to try this 5,000 times because I always do that in hauls and I hate it. So anyway, let's see how this goes. She did such a good job of bubble wrapping everything. Okay, we're just gonna pull some stuff out. Oh, that's so funny. So these are the Incoco nail polish appliques. I just put some of these in my spring giveaway. We will see if I use these. I might, but I might end up putting them in a giveaway. This one is Love Potion with pink glitter over clear. So we'll see if I keep them or put them in a giveaway. I know Jean won't mind. So starting here. Ooh. Okay, so we've got Dior Ohm cologne sample for Justin, which is awesome. I love giving him different colognes to try. Then this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil and Caramel, which is going to be a little dark for me, but I, I wanted to try it anyway. I thought this might be nice for me to like fill in the tail of my brows and do like a nice like ombre brow. So that will be awesome. Then Giorgio Armani Aqua de Jo cologne. For Justin. Then the travel size of the Too Faced Hangover RX 3 in 1 setting spray. I did use one of these up in my winter project pan, but I definitely am excited to have another one to work through. Then we have the Milani Screen Queen natural finish foundation and 130 warm linen, which looks really pale, which is awesome. Jean is the same complexion as me. We're both very fair. I'm a little bit more yellow toned and I'm also more oily than Jean. Jean's more of like a neutral undertone and she has more of like a combination skin type. So I'm excited to see what I think about this. I might even be a little bit pale, so super fun to try out. Then I'm so excited for this. This is the Purology Color Fanatic Multitasking hair beautifier. It's a leave-in treatment. I really, really like the scent of this and it makes my hair super soft. So I'm happy to have that. Then we've got a little mini cover effects, perfect setting powder and translucent light. I'm actually using this today to set under my eyes. Then I've got the Laura Mercier pure canvas primer, the blurring one. So this will be awesome to try. You guys know how I feel about primers. And then this is one of those things where Jean and I placed an order together. This was the only thing I wanted from ColourPop at the time. I think like all of their Disney stuff was on sale. And Jean told me that I had to have the Cinderella highlighter in Horse and Carriage. I'm not a huge Disney fan, I know. I always grew up being obsessed with Tinkerbell, but other than that, I didn't even really like love the Peter Pan movie. I just have not really been a Disney girl, but this packaging is so beautiful. And the highlighter is called Horse and Carriage. So here is what that looks like. Really pretty. That will be fun to try. I almost said, I'm so excited to try that. It's gonna happen. As much as I don't want it to happen, I'm gonna I'm gonna say those words. This is something I did buy. I don't remember how much it costs, so I'm not adding it into any of my like monthly money spent totals. Next one we've got here is the Oscar Blondie Dry Shampoo Invisible Spray. I love dry shampoo, and I love trying different ones. Then we've got the Pravana Fresh Dry Shampoo. I haven't tried this one before. One of my favorite perfumes ever is this Dior Joy. I don't like the intense version, but the original is really good. 
Then we've got another foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear in number 405 porcelain. We'll see how well this matches me, but I was really excited to try that foundation. I know people really love it. Next, oh, I'm so excited for this. Okay, I'm gonna say excited, I am, okay? We just have to embrace it. So this is one of the Buxom Wonderless Blushes in the shade Dolly. I did have like a little sample of this that I really liked. And I think Jean just didn't like the color on her skin tone because I think she likes this formula, but I really, really liked the sample that I have. So it'll be interesting to see if the formula is true to what I tried. But really beautiful. Then we have the Besame Brightening Vanilla Powder Translucent. Emily Noel is the person that I've heard talk about these the most. So I was very interested to test it out myself. It does smell a little bit like vanilla, which is nice. Not too strong though. Next, we have some Too Faced Peach Lipsticks and I'll swatch them. They have little peaches on the bullet, which is really cute. This one is called Sunday Fun Day. Ooh, that's a nice nude. Okay. And look at the packaging. So cute. And this other shade is called Sure Thing. Ooh, a little paler. I like those. They do smell like peach. I love the peach collection from Too Faced. I don't have any of those lipsticks, so that's awesome. Next, I have an Empty Fix Plus bottle, and that is because Jean was so kind to send me some products for Back to Mac. I think, depending on how many things she may have sent me in here, I might have enough for a lipstick, which is super exciting. So yeah, this is a Back to Mac item. Next, we've got this sample kit from Well People with just some foil samples of their products, which is a clean beauty brand, apparently. You all know I love a sample just like these. That would be the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, the original and the Glow version. I haven't tried the Glow before. I've heard mostly people dislike that, but I definitely want to try it myself. I am a glutton for punishment in that way. Then I have the VDL Luma Layer Primer, which is something I tried recently and really fell in love with. So it's awesome to have another of those. Then we've got the Revlon Color Stay Foundation, the normal to dry skin version in 150 buff. This was the first foundation I ever tried and really fell in love with. I used the combo oily version, but I haven't used it in a really long time. This is the shade that I've always purchased and it will be awesome to see what this formula is like. And now it has a pump, which is super cool. More foundation. We've got the CYO Matte Foundation No Shine Zone in 203. It's so funny because like most of the foundations, like half the foundations in my collection are ones that Jean has sent me in the past. She just loves trying foundations and I love trying them when she wants to send them to me. So then we've got another clone sample for Justin. This is Dolce & Gabbana K. Next is something I'm super interested in. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer in Fair 2W. Now y'all know I'm a full coverage girl, so I know this is not gonna have near the amount of coverage that I'm looking for, but it might be something nice for summer and people have really just been raving about it, so I do want to give it a shot. Then I've got another of the Dolce & Gabbana K Cologne. Then we've got a Pat McGrath lipstick. I remember when these went on super sale, I was at work and there was so much stuff going on by the time I got around to actually trying to place an order for these, the shades I wanted were out of stock. So this is one of the Lux Trance lipsticks in 401 Donatella. Oh, so pretty. That's a little bit more brown, but it does have pink in it. That's really cute. Then we've got one of these, which I'm very interested in. This is a Lux Liquid Lipstick from ColourPop. This is Prince Charming, which I think that's Cinderella as well, if I'm not mistaken. So it'll be interesting to see what this formula is like. I'm feeling like it's gonna be kind of like a blotted lip. Oh, 
that there is that color. I'll be very interested to try a new formula. Then she sent me the AOA Paw Paw Wonder Blender. It is $1.55 from Shop Miss A website. I know Jean loves these, Lauren May Beauty loves these. A lot of people really love these sponges. And some of the proceeds for the Paw Paw version goes to some animal organization. It doesn't give the specific name, I don't think, but that's super exciting. I love that it has the classic beauty blender shape, so we'll see how well it compares, but that will be awesome. And if I fall in love, hello, it's super affordable. Next is this mini Wander Beauty highlighter called Wanderous Glow in the shade After Hours, which is such a pretty, like really reflective champagne highlight. I have never tried anything from, oh no, I tried one mascara from Wonder Beauty. Then we've got a MAC Fix Plus Coconut. So this can be back to MAC. I'm pretty sure the minis can go for back to MAC as well, not just the full size. We'll see when I show up to the store, but I hope so. But that will be super awesome. All right, next. Oh gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. I don't know if I knew she was saying that. Okay, I'm having a moment where I don't know how. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. All right, next little bag here. We've got some bronzers. This is the Maybelline City Bronzer in the shade 100, which is the lightest color. I'm really excited to give this a try. I do love bronzers, and I haven't tried one from Maybelline before, and I have heard good things about that. Then this is one of the things I'm the most excited about. This is the... Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. If you guys know, I panned a little deluxe sample last year. I still have some left, but I really fell in love with it. I was gonna buy it during the 21 Days of Beauty and the Jean messaged me and was like, hey girl, you can have mine. So I'm very happy to have this in my collection. Am I alone in the fact that I think the old packaging is so much cuter than the new packaging? What do you think about that? Okay. Next we have another sponge. This is the Ulta Beauty Super Blender, which I, I tried one Ulta sponge like decades ago. So that will be interesting to see what I think of that. Then we have the Juice Beauty Green Apple Peel Full Strength Exfoliating Mask, which sounds really nice. Then the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion, which is a good moisturizer for the winter time or for night. It is better for more dry skin. Next, ooh, I do love this product. This is the Ole Henriksen Counterbalance Oil Control Hydrator, which is a nice like matte moisturizer. Then I'm so excited for this. I forgot about, I forgot about a lot about this stuff, but I forgot about this one. This is a mini Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Leo, which is my Zodiac sign as well. But I only have one liquid lipstick from Jeffree Star and I do really like it. That is super pretty. I'm definitely looking forward to using that. And this is another thing that I paid for Jean picked it up for me sometimes we will go to like TJ Maxx and Marshall's for each other when we're looking for specific things and I was looking for this this is one of the Stila shimmer and glows which I've never tried that formula before in the shade La Douce if I'm saying that correctly it's a beautiful golden olive which is one of my favorite kinds of colors for eyeshadow for clothes I just find it very flattering on me I really think olive looks good on like everyone but I really do love that kind of color on me so that would be a fun formula to try next we have the dose of colors eyes cream palette I remember Lauren May Beauty talking about this one the colors in here are just so beautiful it's probably not something that I would have purchased myself but I jumped at the chance to be able to try it and see how this formula compares to some of their other palettes but the colors are super cute Next, Jean sent me some single shadows that she was decluttering from her collection, and I asked her to send me all of the Anastasia ones because I love Anastasia shadows, so I will show these to you. Oh gosh, and hopefully not make too big of a mess. This one is called Dragonfly. This is Rose Gold. This one is Wine. This is from ColourPop. This one is Baby Lights. This is Anastasia Cognac. 
This is Henna. This one is Labyrinth. It's a pretty purple. This one is called Not Today. This one is Chocolate Crumble. This one is Plum Smoke. And the last one is Opaline, Opaline, I'm not quite sure. So pretty. So Jean, I am going to put these back in my palette and then I will send you your palette back. Yay, next we have another of the Purology Color Fanatic Leave-In Hair Product. Then I'm very, oh my gosh. Oh, I forgot about this, okay. This is super cool. This is my very first Visart, Viseart, however you say it, palette. This is one of their nine pans. This is a purple palette. It is called, well, the front says Liaison. Yeah, I guess that's what it's called, Liaison. So pretty. I'm very excited to try this out, very fancy. Like I said, I've never tried any eyeshadows from them before. Then, this will be super fun too. This is hard to open. Oh no, the highlight broke, I'll repress it. So this is the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. Ooh. Which this top highlight is broken. So like I said, I'm gonna repress that one, but got some really pretty blushes. I don't know if this one is a bronzer or a blush. I'll definitely have to swatch them. And some highlights. Yay! I am looking forward to trying that out. This thing is super fun. I bought this as well. This was on clearance from Real Techniques. It's a really fun set called the Rebel Edge Trio for bronzer, shadow, and highlighter. And it was on clearance for $5. I think I already said that, but... Can't hurt, say it again. So, oh, okay. These brushes are just so weird. I had to try them for that awesome price. So as you can see, these are like really fluffy, full, like angled brushes that I'm gonna use for bronzer, blush, and shadow. I don't know, it just looked really, really fun and different. And for $5, can't beat it. And I love the quality of Real Techniques brushes. Next, I have the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. I haven't tried too much from BH. I remember everybody was like obsessing over this palette and when I went to buy it, it had gone out of stock at Ulta. And these are just such fun spring summer colors. I'm really excited to try this formula and see how well it works, but such fun, unique colors. And then lastly in here, something broke. Okay, so I forgot about these shadows. So Jean sent me some depotted shadows. This one's ColourPop. These right here are Viseart mattes and these shimmers over here I think are from different Urban Decay palettes. I think like the Heavy Metal eyeshadow palette. I think so. But I will clean these up, but I'm so excited for these Viseart mattes. I know people, I think that's like from the Dark Mattes palette. I know people really love that one. So freaking pretty. So guys, that was it. That was my huge package from Jean. She is so, so generous. I cannot wait to try out so many of these products. Some of these are like things that I've already tried and love and I'm excited to have some backups of. So let me know if there's anything in particular you guys want to see in a video. I'm just like looking at all of it. So let me know if there's anything you want me to show you in a video. Thank you so much, Jean. I really, really appreciate your super kind package. And you guys have probably heard me mention Jean several times on my channel. Jean started out as a subscriber of mine many, 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 many years ago. And we just started messaging each other and then we got each other's phone number and Jean actually visited me which was so amazing for my birthday a couple years ago. It was so, so nice. Her and my husband Justin set it up. It was a huge surprise. She just knocked on the door and I was like, hey. so that was so amazing for us to be able to actually meet each other in person. Jean drove super far away, all the way from Rhode Island to 
like DC to come see me, which was so, so nice. And I just cannot imagine my life without Jean. She's so incredible. I keep really encouraging Jean to get a YouTube channel because you guys would absolutely love her and I would love to see her on video doing her thing. So anyway, thank you so much, Jean, for this awesome package. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Like I said, because I didn't remember everything that she sent me, I just thought it would be fun for us to open this together. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.